Named in Parliament in 2010 and subsequently named at the trial hearing of the Akasha brothers in the U.S., Ali Punjani is no stranger to links in the drugs underworld. Reportedly, with 19 police officers guarding his nearly home, the business tycoon is a well-networked individual within the government circles. In 2009, at a farm's drive to help residents of Faza Island in Lamu after a fire engulfed their homes, Punjani made a personal contribution of 6 million shillings in the presence of the then President Mwai Kibaki and Prime Minister then Raila Odinga. Ali Punjani was once involved in a club gunfight with the Akashas in Mombasa as the rivalry reached fever pitch on the New Year's Eve of 2017. The two families fought over the control of the coastal region to take charge of the drugs underworld. <laughs> Magdalene Siombua, mother to Kenyan gymnast Wendy Waini, has come out to strongly refute claims that she mismanaged funds given to her by various prominent personality in support of the teenager's talent. This comes after Wendy's embattled ex-manager, Joe Mwangi, accused Miss Siombua of wasting all the money on alcohol. Siombua rubbished the allegations, adding that she does not even drink alcohol because she is a staunch Christian. <laughs> As counties and the national government fight over sharing of resources, it has emerged that counties have spent over 9 billion shillings on local travel in nine months. In the nine months report by the controller of budget, MP spent 2.3 billion shillings to travel within the country. The Auditor General has also been unmasked for spending a staggering 457 million shillings to travel locally in nine months alone. The presidency spent 420 million shillings on local travel within the same period.